Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So, according to Josiah Anderson, Browns running back Kareem Hunt, currently seeking a trade extension, did not participate in team drills for the second consecutive practice on Saturday. Hunt told the team multiple times recently his current plan is to participate in individual drills only. Friday marked the first time since training camp started that Hunt didn't participate in the team portion of practice per league sources. Their belief is Hunt's partial hold-in isn't health-related. Hunt is subject to fines from the club. Hunt's agent was at the Browns facility earlier this week, per sources. I've been told several times Hunt periodically has said to members of the team informally he wants to get paid or traded. However, one source emphasized they believe Hunt would like to stay in Cleveland but just wants to be compensated for his work. Hunt received a two-year extension in 2020, reportedly worth 13.25 mil after starting his career with the Chiefs, blah, 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 blah. So Kareem Hunt is basically letting it be known that he's going on strike. Just put yourself in Kareem Hunt's shoes. Let's say you're working at Ford or some shit. They ain't paying you no bucks. You're going on strike. You're still there so you can get your bread. You're still there to bring awareness of your situation. But you letting the team know, hey, I ain't going out here working for no minimum wage. I'm willing to work, but I ain't going out here for no minimum wage, bro. That's pretty much what Kareem Hunt's doing, and I respect it because at the end of the day, it's a business, bro. Just like the Browns got to do what's best for them, Kareem Hunt needs to do what's best for him. Kareem Hunt, he's a veteran running back. He's 27 years old. He's still at the top of his game. Kareem Hunt knows he's worth more than what he's getting. Kareem Hunt knows the end of his career is coming soon. Come on, running backs don't make it to 30 a lot. And if they do make it to 30, they usually washed and they ain't making that much money. Kareem Hunt's trying to cash in while he can. He ain't trying to go out there and risk it. He ain't trying to risk no money. He ain't trying to lose no money. Going out there trying to play. I respect it, bro. It's a business, you know? It's a business, but the unfortunate part not only for him, well, it's not really unfortunate for Kareem Hunt because he going to get his money. But the unfortunate thing for the Browns fans is that we're not in position to really pay Kareem Hunt the money that he's probably going to want. And the reason why we're not in position is because of Deshaun Watson's contract as well as everybody else that we already paid and locked up. You feel me? People look at the cap space right now and say we got cap space. That's because Deshaun Watson's only making like a million dollars this year, bro. But once that contract really kick in next year, ooh, we about to get shysty. Man, we ain't really trying to, you know, we ain't really trying to give out no bread, you know. It's about to get a little tight, you know. So, with that being said, you look at the running back position, it makes sense why they're not trying to pay Kareem Hunt outside of that. Because in the day, if the dude worked the bread, they go pay him, bro. They go make a way. But look at the running back room. You got Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb running back one. Nick Chubb is that dude. Rick, Nick Chubb can take the whole load by himself. No homo, you feel me? Then, you got Dearness Johnson playing running back three. Dearness Johnson had a breakout year last year. Stepped up every time he was needed. Rather, it was a starter or just being a rotational piece. And he delivered, bro. He showed he can fulfill that role, bro. Then we just drafted Jerome Ford in the fifth round. You know, he has potential. He was kind of a steal. Then they got Demetri Felton still in, in um, rotation. I don't even know if he's going to make the team or not, but he's still in play for them running back snaps. You feel me? So with that being said, you look at everything I just said, look at the position. Why would they pay Kareem Hunt, you know, more money when they could just let him go and just let Dearness Johnson step up and fulfill the running back two position and then work on developing Jer Jerome Ford. And maybe he can even take, you know, it's just little things like that. You know, that's how they're thinking. They're thinking to replace players that they know they're not going to be able to afford down the road. Kareem Hunt just happens to be one of those guys. And Kareem Hunt, you know, he ain't missing no sleep about this, bro. Kareem Hunt already knows what's going on, bro. He's not an idiot, bro. I think Kareem Hunt, it's just trying to speed up the process. Trust me, he's in the running back room. He sees what's going on. He knows the cap situation. 
he knows they're trying to replace him, bro. So he's just trying to make the Browns make a decision right now. Pay me right now or trade me, bro. He's not being aggressive about the trade thing right now because it's not in the air. It's not really officially public that he wants to get traded or anything like that. But he's letting me know, hey, pay me now or trade me. He he not here for the sh- little shenanigans. He's not trying to let them get the last bit out of him. He ain't trying to really do all that, you know? Kareem Hunt knows he can go somewhere else and get paid easily. He can go somewhere else and take somebody's spot. Nonetheless, you feel me? It's Kareem Hunt, bro. He trying to cash in on them M's right now. So a guy that's already taken a pay cut, a guy that's taken a um, he's been taking a pay cut for about three, four years now. A guy that's um, you know, taking a roll redu- a reduction or whatever you want to call it. Go go get your bread. You feel me? If you want to stay, we'll love it. But if you gotta go, you gotta go. Bro. It's pretty much that simple. But I, I just don't see Kareem Hunt getting paid here, bro. We about to get shiesty on that bread. About to get shiesty, man. We can't give him no money, bro. It's pretty much that simple. So we'll see how it goes. Me personally, if he's doing all this, he may be serious, but he also is from Cleveland. He may just go out there and play just for the fuck of it, but I don't know, man. I don't see the Browns trying to really pay him. I don't see it. It doesn't really make sense. It never made sense for them to have De'Arnest Johnson on the roster anyway with Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb getting on all that money. And they just drafted a running back. Kareem Hunt probably gone, bro. It's that simple. I don't know what we can get for him. Whatever. But we'll see how this goes. We're going to keep updating on it. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section about the situation. Um, Like I said, even if he does leave, we'll be fine, bro. It's not the same Kareem Hunt, Nick Chubb thing, but we'll be all right. But let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. And I got more content coming soon.